Welcome to my vlog! <laughs> everybody welcome to my youtube channel this is feel and froggy nets my name is maya i had a wonderful idea just blossom and i wanted to pick the camera up immediately so that i could get my thoughts out so here we are i'm currently in my project palace i don't know if i've uh, said that yet that that's what this is called but we are in my project palace and I have two cats, their names are Willow and Ivy, my boyfriend and I adopted them a couple, I guess, oh my gosh, I think it's a month ago today. Okay, so we adopted them a month ago and they love the Project Palace, mostly because it is the warmest room in the house. There's a lot of sunlight in here, a lot of places to lounge, which is one of the reasons why I picked it as my project room, but that's neither here nor there. My great idea, so Ivy sleeps behind my computer because, I think because the computer is warm and because it gets a lot of sun. I have this little tray on my desk that I got at a thrift store and I thought it would be cute to put stuff on it, you know, little, I don't know, whatever, like little tchotchkes, little knickknacks, things like that. But it has become a dumping ground for garbage a lot of the times. So I'll put like candy wrappers there and receipts and charging cords and all of the stuff that is not cute, like how I intended the tray to be. So I thought, I could knit a little blanket that would fit the dimensions of this perfectly so that Ivy can lay on it and it'll be comfortable for her. Here is the area in question that I'm talking about. We've got a checkbook, yarn, tape, some uh, Christmas greenery. So I think that I can really make this a really cute cat bed. I'll clear off the tray so that I can show you the dimensions better, kind of scale it out for you so that you can see. since I filmed that last clip and since then I've actually decided to use a different yarn. At that point I filmed a little bit about using my Cotton Pure which is my cone of yarn that I have from Pearl Soho. I was going to hold it double but I just remembered that I had my Knit Crate November yarn still in this bulky yarn and I think that this will be the perfect amount for this tiny space. And wool is antimicrobial, so it'll be more clean than say a cotton, I think, hopefully. Again, sometimes I just mix it up. Now I am going to cake this up so that I can put it from the center and we will do a little swatch. Also, I'm in my sweatpants, so no judgment, okay? Come on. Ooh. Oh, let's get cozy. Come on, y'all. Ooh, candle time. Today I have, here's the outside of it. Oh, cute. This camera does not want to focus. Uh, it's called Tinsel and Spice. Oh my gosh, so festive. And I'm drinking a peppermint mocha right now. Your girl's festive. All right, let's go. Let's go pick this up.
back in the palace and we have caked up this yarn. It looks kind of crazy right now. I am going to do a gauge swatch because I don't even have a pattern. So I think I'm gonna need to know my stitch definition. Uh, let's see, it looks like it uses size eight to 12.75 millimeter needles. I could go all the way up to 12 millimeter. What do you guys think? I'm sorry, you don't have any input in this actually. Let's go with nine, because I have a pretty small space to fill and a lot of yarn. I've been knitting on the shorties, which I think are three inches, and these are five, I believe, and <laughs> already they feel so different. This cable, yeah, this cable will work, sure. I'm just winging this, y'all. Here's a little story time. I started knitting in August of 2021, and my first ever thing that I knitted was a hat. It is a hat that I never wear. It is somewhere in this room. I don't love it. I'm going to unravel it at some point. So I knitted that hat. It I didn't have a pattern, but I kept trying to follow this one pattern and it didn't work. So I kind of like knew what was going on already, I guess, because I had been reading and rereading this one hat, so I knew how to start one. My second ever project was, do y'all remember the Harry Styles cardigan? But that was like a big thing. And so for my second ever project, I decided to make my sister a version of that in all purple. It took me over a year to finish it. <laughs> I've actually completed it in like three months, I would say, but it was like the last couple of things that I just put off for a while. That was the second ever thing that I knitted. It was a, a pattern that I created all on my own. I guess you could call it a pattern. I don't know. Sometimes I say that I'm not an adventurous knitter, but then I remember my past and I'm like, oh, actually. <laughs> so this says seven to 11 stitches for four inches. I guess I will cast on, I'm gonna cast on 20 stitches. Let's see, uh, I am going to knit it. Uh, no, I, I need to do a stock knit, okay. Oh, nine, so I'm gonna cast on 21 stitches. Okay, with the long tail cast on because it's the easiest. We're going to create a swatch. Uh, the swatch will have a garter stitch border. If you haven't ever knitted a swatch before, that's usually what people do because stockinette tends to curl. All right, y'all, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. So uh, feel free to you know, kick back, relax. Let us just get it. Let, let us just get it. So I just finished knitting my swatch and it is a little bit dense, I will say. I said that there should be seven to 11 stitches per four inches and I have 10 stitches per four inches, which is in line with the yarn, I guess. But I think when I knit this, I'm gonna knit it in a needle set, one needle size larger. I'm not gonna block the swatch. I just wanted to knit it up to see how the yarn felt, how it felt with these needles. I know I wanna go bigger. And I'm going to be making it up as I go along. So it doesn't really matter. Like I'm gonna get the size that I want because I'm gonna make it that way. 
here's the tray in question. I'm going to knit it so that the uh, garter stitch is going down this way rather than this way. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna unravel this little swatch here and switch my needles and I'm gonna get started. very far here's what I have so far you can kind of yeah you can see the whole thing I guess I should explain myself what I've done so far I started off with I believe seven stitches and every other row or every wrong side row or no every right side row I increased two stitches what I would do is I would knit one stitch and then do a right laning increase knit down the rest of the row, get to right before my last stitch, do a left leaning increase, and then knit that last stitch on the other side, just knit across. And this is garter stitch, so it's easy. It's also easier to hide stuff. So I actually don't know which side is the right side and which side is the wrong side. It doesn't really matter for this project. Again, it's a bed for my cats. They will love it regardless. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I have a nice iced peppermint mocha here as you all saw me just make. I got an espresso machine for my birthday this year and honestly y'all it's uh it's a worthy investment. If you're looking to invest in yourself, in your happiness, I recommend an espresso machine. So well I'm gonna continue to knit on this probably gonna finish it today which is kind of crazy to finish a project in three days what can i say guess i'm fast they have really bulky yarn and really big needles <laughs> like I needed to start decreasing and I believe I'm correct and look at how much yarn we still have left so we might be able to do something that I been thinking that I wanted to do but didn't know if I would have enough yarn and I think I'm gonna have enough yarn all right let's get back to knitting Knit. <laughs> palace is a mess behind me no it's not i finished the cat bed but look how much yarn i have left over because of all this yarn left over i'm going to do an eye cord edge around the whole bed i'm going to hold it double with mohair i think that it will look really nice it'll give it more of a cat bed feel because most dog or cat beds will have like the raised sides just kind of making it up as i go <laughs> It's creative, it's art, it's, I'm an artist. I'm an artist, y'all, okay? 
Ribbit, ribbit. This was a really fun creative project to complete. I made it up as I went along. I find that doing that is actually a lot of fun and most of the times it turns into a wearable or usable piece. At least this time it did. Willow and Ivy love their bed. They've been laying on it all day. It was kind of dry this morning. I thought the warmth of their bodies would try the rest of it. And that has held true because it does feel pretty dry. Right now, actually, as I'm recording this, Willow is sleeping in the bed. So I would love to show you what it looks like right now, but obviously I cannot disturb a sleeping cat. I think that's a sin. Sin in my book. So I thought I would use the outro of the video to kind of explain how I made it in case you want to do the same. I used super bulky yarn with eight and nine millimeter needles. I used nine millimeter needles for the body and eight millimeter for the eye cord ribbing around the edge. So if you have a super bulky yarn, this might work for you. Willow and Ivy are just like laying on top of each other in this bed. They're fighting for the chance to sleep on my designer cat bed. I cast on seven stitches and increased two stitches per right side row until I didn't have to anymore. Again, I didn't, you know, this, this was all made up. After that, you just knit until you have to decrease again, and then you decrease two stitches per right side row in the meantime while also just knitting through the wrong side row. Sorry if that wasn't explicit. Yeah, so I bound off and then I just did the eye cord around the edge, and it's really that simple. And I actually think that this might work as like a freestanding cat bed if you did do the border in that eye cord with a super bulky yarn because it really puffed up and it gives us this really nice edge that like, you know, cats really like to have that, uh, that kind of like wall or that edge on the side. So it might actually work just as like a freestanding cat bed. Well, if y'all liked this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I'll be posting new videos every Thursday, so keep a lookout. Alrighty, y'all. Until next time. Peace. Should I do my walkout? Is that how I'm ending every video? Am I walking out? Yes, sir. So.